I have created a full SaaS app in just 200 prompts. And in this video, I will show you exactly how I did it, what the result is, and I will prove to you that this is all possible only using Lovable. So let's dive in. So in my previous videos, I always did like one prompt to an app. And while you can get pretty far with just a prompt, today I will show you how far you can get with 200 prompts. And I've made videos that said, stop learning and then do this instead. A lot of people still think that with Lovewall, you cannot create real apps with front end and back end. So this is the proof and it is for voice calling and it is basically an AI receptionist that never sleeps as you can see right here. And this is 100% created in Lovable. So the design, the front end, the back end, all the functionality, all the animations, all Lovable. And it works like hell. So this is the landing page. And before we really dive into the app itself, I will explain you something about the structure, how I started, and yeah, basically just a complete walkthrough. Okay, so I have a lot of different flowcharts, as you can see right here. And this is a voice agent where we arrange the actual buying of the numbers, the voice agent creation, and everything in between. And the reason why I created this system is actually because I will put this online for white labeling. Change the styling, add your own logo, and then just go out to local businesses and sell this. So I will link this down in the description. So how this basically works is the following. We have a lot of different tables, as you can see right here. I will show it in cloud as well. And everything is done just with Lovable Cloud. We then have the backend, so we have a lot of different edge functions. So if we look at the integrations, we have Stripe payments, Twilio for phone numbers, 11 Labs for text to speech, and then Vapi to connect everything. We then use Resend for the emailing, Lovable AI, and Google Calendar to actually book in appointments. And as you can see, this is pretty large backend. This is not just a simple landing page. This is a full blown SaaS app. What we can do is we can go back and we can click on get started. And now I am logged in in my dashboard. So as you can see, it shows the calls today, the amount of meetings booked, the average duration and the amount resolved. We have some live activity and obviously I'm not using this yet, but we also show the calls. So right here, I can click on a call. I have the actual recording. I have the outcome. So did we actually book in something or did we just provide information? We have an AI summary, the full transcript. So everything is working and it is all in local languages. So for this call, I just did it in Dutch and the quality is actually really high. So I will show you everything like the demoing, how I connected the phone numbers with Vapi. This is just an example, like 200 prompts, but you can basically make anything else that you want. So we have some analytics. So we have the calls over time. We have the outcomes. We have the calls by hour. And this is basically all pretty simple, right? Dashboard calls analytics, but in the settings page, this is actually where the magic happens because we have all the information. So a business creates an account. They have their own name. Obviously they have a specific business type. So maybe they are a dental clinic, a medical practice, a salon, a restaurant or other. And they have a description of what they do, who they are, etc. They have an address, a contact phone number, and they have their business hours. They have specific services. So in this case, I demoed with a dentist. So they do a checkup, they do cleaning and they set braces. But right here, this is where it gets interesting because they have an AI assistant. And then as you can see, we have all these different voices. We have different languages where we can choose from. So this is something I can sell in the Netherlands, but also in Germany. It allows for Chinese, Japanese, Arabic, and obviously English, Italian, Spanish, everything. So we can choose our language and we can actually configure the agent right here. So we have our greeting message. Let's for now set it to English and we can say, hello, thank you for calling the dentist practice. Um, how can I help you today? So, so what we can now do is we can adjust the behavior and the instructions and we can now test it out right in our browser. Very quickly, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And also if you're interested in this SaaS app, check in the link in the description. So we can just start browser call. Hello, thank you for calling the dentist practice. How can I help you today? Hi there, um, I would like to have a checkup. Is this possible for maybe tomorrow? Let me check the calendar for you. Great news. We have available slots for a checkup tomorrow, Thursday, December 11, 2025. Here are the available times, 9 a.m. Yeah, that's fine, actually, Not 9 a.m. Perfect. I'll book your checkup appointment for tomorrow at 9 a.m. Could you please provide...
provide your full name and contact phone number? Yeah, so my full name is Luc Alleman and my phone number is 06 548 I'm booking your appointment now. Your appointment for a checkup is confirmed for tomorrow, December 11th, 2025 at 9 a.m. Thank you, Luc Alleman. We look forward to seeing you at the dentist practice. Thank you. And as you can see right here, we have our appointment. So this is already working. But the nice thing is, is this is really made multi-tenant. So someone can just create an account, buy a number, configure their AI agent, and everything is already working. But this is the front end. This is what the customers get. But there is way more to building a business. It is just not as simple as create a nice landing page, create a nice dashboard, and, and that's it. Like, we need more. So what I created is I also created a demo. So right here, we have this demo page and this is basically connected to the landing page. So we can click on try demo, we can click on the phone right here and we'll see this and we can actually give in our business data and this is actually just like a lead generator. So we can give in our name, we can say what kind of business we are. So we are a dental clinic, we want English, friendly and we can now hear our AI and we can just test it out. Thanks so much for calling test. I'm your AI receptionist. How can I help you today? I'd be happy to help you schedule it. So this is basically just like a lead generator. We also have the assessment. So this is basically like, okay, uh, someone is hesitative about using a voice receptionist. They can do this quick test to see if it is actually logical for them to start using this. So we say 10 to 30, rarely, sometimes one to two hours a day and phone plus online and we are a dental clinic and we can then click on continue we give in our email address and the name and we see the results so right now we see the amount of calls that are missed the amount of money that is at risk the saved hours and we can now click on here your ai first and we get sent to the demo so this is basically just like this ai ecosystem that is really working for lead generation but also the actual SaaS. but everything that you just saw is on the side of the customer, right? We have this landing page and this is all visible for our clients, but we obviously need to have a dashboard for the admin as well. So right here, we have our admin dashboard and we can see the call volume, the subscriptions, but also AI insights. So we can just click on generate and for the most recent data, it will come up with insights. So we have a low user to organization ratio. We have some opportunities. We can see all the different organizations, all the different users. We have contact requests from the landing page where we can just answer them with AI. We have all the emails that we sent from our platform will be locked in here. So an organization can invite someone else to their organization and we see everything being locked right here. We have our plans, we have our site configuration so we can add our own logos. We have a specific branding, we have email settings, we have everything that you need right here and this is basically an ecosystem where you can really see what is happening on the platform and monitor everything so now that you really understand what the platform is all about i think it's time to dive a bit deeper into what actually happened under the hood like we use 200 prompts for this approximately like a lot of more messages so this is basically the difference between using the chat function and then implementing the plan and the thing that we did here is very gradually build up our platform so I can now go to the first message that I sent to start a project. So we have this prompt. So we say build a complete production ready multi-tenant SaaS platform that allows dental clinics and other local businesses to deploy an AI powered voice receptionist. And we have a design direction. So we say premium medical tech meets luxury hospitality. So Apple Health meets four season booking systems. So it is really about explaining the vibe that we are looking for. So we have some colors, we have some motion design, we have some pages, so we have a landing page, we have some sections in here, and we have authentication, so we have users. We then have an onboarding wizard, where if someone just starts out with the platform, they obviously need an onboarding where we explain everything about it, help them set up. So we have the opening hours in there, the services, and after the onboarding, they are basically ready to go. We have the phone set up, and we have a lot more. So we have a calls page, and everything is explained in here. So we have the database schema already. It is still a lot of work, but for 200 prompts, we have this complete ecosystem that is working for not one, not 10, but hundreds of businesses that want to use this. 
So I think it's now time to dive even further in what we are actually doing. Everyone can create a simple voice agent, right? But making this multi-tenant, making sure you buy numbers for your customers and all of the setup work is done and it's very seamless for people to start using your app. That's the step that is still very hard to take. You want to make this a real mature SaaS, not something that's just some pieces put together and not really working as it should. So right here, I have this explainer, which basically shows how the calling is actually working. So we have a caller. So someone needs to go to the dentist. So they call, it then connects to Twilio because the number that we bought is from Twilio. Then it routes it to the AI assistant and that is from Vapi. So it basically shows the call started event. So we are now in the call. So we lock that. So we exactly know what is happening. Then the person says, I like to book an appointment. So we then need to use a different tool. So we need to check availability. What is then happening is we fetch the calendar events. This is happening in Google Calendar and Google Calendar sends back the available slots. We then return the availability and Vapi basically explains to our caller what is available. So it says, I have openings at 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. The caller then says, 2 p.m. works for me. We then need to use the book appointment tool. We then create a calendar event. We lock the appointment in our database. So also inside of our actual platform, we also see which appointments are being booked. We then get the confirmation. We can confirm the booking and we say you're all set for 2 p.m. So that's basically how this flow works. And one thing is when you create a voice SaaS, you need to have numbers. So in our case, we have a user action which selects a country. So when I go to the platform to settings, we have this phone numbers tab and right here I can click on add number and we can choose a specific country so we have the Netherlands we have United Kingdom we have United States and right here I can click on get a number and what will then basically happen is the following so we then use the Twilio API to search for available numbers we then purchase one we import it to Vapi right here we have our number and this came from Twilio we then need to create an assistant so Someone creates an account, gets a number, and then obviously will fine tune and configure their agent so it actually fits their business. And then we need to connect in Vapi the number to the assistant. And all of this is also saved in our database. And then we have the live AI phone number. So how this basically works is a user gets to our platform and they already have their phone number, their existing phone number. We will not replace that phone number directly, but they can just redirect their incoming phone calls to their existing numbers and redirect it to this live AI phone number. And then you are basically set. And then the last thing that they need to do is set up their Google Calendar. So in the integrations tab, they can basically connect their calendar. They get sent to a Google OAuth page. And from there, they can just allow Google to see everything. Okay, so now that we have everything that we need to connect the phone number to the agent configured in this screen, we can actually start calling it. So right now I can call this number. Hi there, I would like to have a checkup, if possible, uh, tomorrow. Let me check the calendar for you. We have several available slots for a checkup tomorrow. Thursday, December 11th, here are the options. 9.30 a.m., 10 a.m., 10.30 a.m. Can we go for 11 a.m.? Great, let's book your appointment for a checkup at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Could you please provide your full name? Yeah, so it's Luke Alleman. Your appointment for a checkup is confirmed for Thursday, December 11, 2025 at 11 a.m. If you have any other questions or need further assistance, feel free to out. Thank have you. So right now we can go to the calendar and right here we have the appointment. And right now I can see that call right here. So as you can see, it is coming from my number. We have the timestamp. We can actually have the call recording right here. Hello, thank you for calling the dentist practice. Hi there, I would like to have a checkup. We have the AI summary, we have the full transcript. So everything is already working seamless. We can call the caller back as well. And this all in just 200 prompts. Like it is not a lot, but you really need to understand how to work with these systems. That is the most important thing that I want to give you as a takeaway right there is understand how to connect a Twilio to a Vapi, to a Google Calendar. Like understand how APIs work and which APIs you should use to achieve your goals. So if this is something that you are interested in, I'm going to sell this to a limited amount of people. I will link it down in the description and you can just one-on-one -on -one get this and then you have your own SaaS. Thanks for watching my complete video. I really hope you enjoyed this. It was a bit of a different video than normally. 
So make sure to check the links in the description, like and subscribe, and then I will see you in my next one.